Have you ever seen a drug more damaging than this? No. No. It's... No, the, the, the violence, particularly in domestic violence situations, is horrific. Uh, you know, there, there was one particular case that did stay with me of a, a man who was uh, attacking his wife as she was carrying the children out of the car, and they're very small children, and she was, she, you know, he had a bad addiction, and uh, she had, she had kept trying to take the kids away, and she was just carrying them up the stairs and to bed. And um, then she sat down on the couch upstairs and she had this little newborn baby and she was feeding the baby and he attacked her. Um, and this is someone that, uh, you know, certainly had a, a, a previous love for this person. These were his children. Um, and uh, that was what she had to contend with. And, and often many women in relation to domestic violence, they'll come for the AVOs and, uh, you know, they'll need the protection. Many women will come and say, you know, he's OK as long as there's no substance. And I must say, there's a lot more women, a lot more women that are, uh, you know, where their partners are having to get these orders against them, the same, the same basis. Do you sometimes find that once the offender then comes before you, you almost have to remind them of what they've done and, yes. and they say, hang on, what? I did that? Yes, yes. Um, and uh, I mean, and this is self-reported, I mean, uh, some some offenders will say in, in sentencing submissions that they have no recollection of what happened. Um, and I've certainly seen uh, offenders who are ultimately have been convicted sitting in the dock whilst their partner gives evidence and they start crying because I think that's the moment they realise they really did do that, that really did happen. It's not just no-hopers, for want of a better term, that, that are getting caught in this trap, is it, though? I mean, you're seeing everyday mums and dads come through here. I, it's a drug that doesn't discriminate. It doesn't care who you, ca who you are or what background you came from. The addiction seems to be so incredibly strong that um, it doesn't matter who you are, you can't think you can resist it or you're in control of it. We're talking, you know, businessmen, uh, people that have homes, families, that kind of thing? Absolutely. I mean, there's been um, examples and examples I can think of quite easily where uh, people, you know, are highly respected in the community who have lost their, not only their family but their home, their job um, and um, end up in prison. Uh, and uh, are quite shocked, I think, at what's happened to them, but uh, fall from great heights, absolutely.